our government has a firm policy not to capitulate to terrorist demands, that no concessions policy remains in force, in spite of the wildly speculative and false stories about arms for hostages and alleged ransom payments, we did not, repeat, did not trade weapons or anything else for hostages. The ballot of the bullet, some freedom or some bullshit. Will we ever do it bigger? Just keep settling for little shit. We brag on having bread, but none of us are bakers. We all talk having greens, but none of us own acres. If none of us own acres and none of us grow wheat, then who will feed our people when our people need to eat? So it seems our people starve from lack of understanding. Cause all we seem to give them is some balling and some dancing. And some talking about our car and imaginary mansions. We should be indicted for bullshit we inciting. Children deaf and pretending it's exciting. We are advertisements for agony and pain. We exploit the youth, we tell them to join the gang. We tell them dope stories, introduce them to the gang. Just like all of the North introduced us to cocaine. In the 80s when them bricks came on military plane. A few months ago I told the American people I did not trade arms for hostages. My heart and my best intentions still tell me that's true, but the facts and the evidence tell me it is not. The end of the Reagan era, I'm like Lemma 12 old enough to understand the shit that changed forever. They declared a war on drugs, like a war on terror, but what it really did was let the police terrorize whoever. But mostly black boys, but they would call us niggas, and lay us on our belly while they fingers on their triggers. They boots was on our head, they dogs was on our crotches, and they would beat us up if we had diamonds on our watches. And they would take our drugs and monies as they pick our pockets. I guess that that's the privilege of policing for some profit. But thanks to Reaganomics, prison turned to profits. Cause free labor's the cornerstone of US economics. Cause slavery was abolished unless you are imprisoned. You think I am bullshit and then read the 13th Amendment. Involuntary servitude and slavery it prohibits. That's why they giving drug offenders time and double digits. Ronald Reagan was an actor, not at all a factor. Just an employee of the country's real masters. Just like the Bushes, Clinton and Obama, just another talking head telling lies on teleprompters. If you don't believe the theory, then argue with this logic. Why did Reagan and Obama both go after Gaddafi? We invading sovereign soil, going after oil. Taking countries is a hobby, paid for by the oil lobby. Same as in Iraq and Afghanistan. And I'm a dinner jar, say they coming for Iran. They only love the rich and how they love the poor. If I say any more, they might be at my door. Shh, who the fuck is that? Staring in my window, doing that surveillance on Mr. Michael Rinder. I'm dropping off the grid before they pump the lid. I leave you with four words. I'm glad Reagan did.